What's up guys, it's Canadian and today we have another Zarya VOD review. This one is for Felix, aka Mr. McKitten. He is in gold, playing on Hollywood. This match is from June 14th. Now, as usual, we'll look at positioning, target selection, ability usage, uh, ultimate usage, beam grenade discipline, reload discipline, all that jazz, and hopefully we can help this player become a better Zarya player and learn something ourselves. Now, if this is your first time watching one of these, I am Canadian. I make a ton of educational Zarya and Arisa content. I was Grandmaster with the Heroes for a very long time. Um, and you guys can check out all of my VOD reviews and guides for those heroes on my YouTube, link in the description. And if you want to submit your own VODs for review in this format, there is also a link in the description for that. And then finally, it's safe to say that this VOD will be in multiple parts, so be sure to check out all the parts if you want to get the most out of um, the VOD review. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Ooh, the language is not English. All right, let's talk about. I think I I was looking at chat. I won't look at chat. Really good job reacting to the Pharah rockets. Easy poke phase energy. That's how you should do it. Easy peasy. All right. Uh oh, you decided not to go for the poke phase energy with the uh with the person with the projected barrier, which is fine. It's actually good either way. Now it could be argued that there's a fine line here of you could potentially get that energy with the projected barrier because the teams aren't going to engage. Mercy did die right as that happened, so it makes sense that you didn't really respond to Mercy dying. But it's not a big deal. It could really go either way, and I and I similar to you err on the side of holding our barriers versus really using them. Nice, more easy energy. Just keep an eye on your Reinhardt's HP bar there. Reinhardt's playing way too far. They're, they have a Widowmaker, and your team is literally standing in the longest line of sight possible. You're making it so easy for this Widowmaker to get kills. Like, if their Widowmaker pops out of the security room to your left and kills Anna in your backline, you guys are in for a world of hurt. Oh, someone was thinking about it. Keep paying attention, pay attention, right? You see the shield's about to break, you're ready with the barrier. This is so far so good. Reinhardt's not really managing his shield that well. Personal, uh, yeah, you, you reacted a little late. So right here, right when the shield broke and Hans was looking at you, right here in my head, I was like, oh, he's going to use the personal shield. And I was a little surprised actually that you didn't. So a little bit of a delayed reaction here. And then you even you even you didn't you didn't strafe back in, but you took about 200, which prompts the personal shield. So hey, at least you didn't die. That's good. Bubble on your, your run, getting a little aggressive with no with his with no barrier. That's kind of well. He has your barrier, but I mean his own shield is not available, so he shouldn't really be getting this aggressive. Good job reacting to his aggression, knowing his shield is broken with your own shield. This helps him, gives you energy. Very nice. Yep, and he died, right? We were just talking about he's being too aggressive, and he dead because he messed up. Y your shields only do so much, as every Zarya player can tell you. Yeah, he had kind of poor shield management, over-aggressive positioning. Good kill, by the way. This is also a good personal, right? You react, the Pharah starts shooting at you, the personal comes out. Now, in terms of target selection, uh, this is it, in this situation. It, I'm not really gonna fault you for shooting at Farah, even though she is one of the harder targets to eliminate as Zarya. Um, there are probably better targets around, but you guys are already minus three, so it's really not a big deal. This is pretty much lost. If you somehow win this minus three, I will be amazed. You're only minus two now. Minus three again. Uh, I'll give you that because you're gonna lose this. So yeah. There's nothing you could do there. Alright, your team needs to like set up, but nice, nice paying attention. Nice, that was really good. He he turned his back, the Zen started firing down this hallway. I like the reactionary with the barrier, 20 energy. Oh, oh, Anna, what are you contest. doing? Guys. Yeah, you guys are getting kind of like stuck in this alleyway. Like, oh, oh, such a good bump barrier. Really, really good. 
However, this reload is abysmal, right? Look at this. Uh, Anna gets a huge purple on the Hanzo. You bubble her. You have you have full or 40 energy, 75 ammo, a bunch of enemies right next to you, but you reload instead of shooting the Hanzo right here. Ah, oh, this is such a shame. So much this is right here. This is ultimate energy, your or ultimate charge that you're not getting because you chose to reload. Oh, nice body block though. Too nice body blocking. That reload, you're, I'm, I'm kind of expecting you're gonna regret that reload later. Ah, uh, no, that's okay. There's nothing you could do. That's a fine barrier. Protect Mercy as she reses. Do you? Did you like lose your other tank? Are you solo tank Zarya right now? If you are, I never, ever, 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 ever recommend solo tank Zarya. You're gonna get earth shattered just any second now. The earth, you're gonna get earth shattered. Uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Mm, what's your plan here with the grab? You just used personal. You got aggressive and you used personal. Right? You got aggressive. You used personal. That's fine. No big deal. You got some energy from it. I think you were thinking you're gonna grab. But like, what's the plan? I, I can't say I've heard any comms. I don't know what your lineup is. I know you have a soldier, a Mercy, and an Anna. That's about it. So I'm really not feeling like this. You have a Junkrat, right? We see the Junkrat tire. His tire is gone. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't have a good feeling about this. What is Anna doing? Can somebody kill me though? <laughs> okay. That's unfortunate. I mean, the, the, like, part of this is, like, you got too aggressive. Like, there's no main tank here, and this is this is a little bit hindsight, but it's, it's also kind of clear when it's happening, right? You're getting a little too aggressive when it's literally only you on the front line. Oh, uh, hey, what's up, Ken? Your contract messed up? Yeah, no worries, man. Um, so you're getting aggressive. Like, right here, I would say you're a little over-aggressive for getting really, really nitpicky. Because you're a ranged hero, right? You, what's Zarya's range? Like, 16 meters is her beam range, somewhere in that ballpark. And you're getting super, super close to this Reinhardt. And I think it's because you think you were going to grab, and then you decided against it. So, did the choice not to grab here, definitely good. Um, but that indecision, you know, kind of cost you in terms of positioning. You go back in to cover Anna, and then, I mean, it's, it's, it's really, this. as much as I'm, you know, criticizing you, it's just your team is kind of, like, in an awkward place, and, and there, Zarya currently has, like, no place in this team, and I mean that, like, in a positional sense. Like, Zarya belongs in the team in terms of, like, her barriers will do get plenty of value, etc., but in terms of, like, where should Zarya be standing, like, on one hand, the tanks are supposed to contest the objective, right? On the other hand, you're only, they're the only tank around, so, like, this is just, like, a terrible situation to be in, and, and it happens, and, and there's really nothing to say except do your best. Maybe you could have just stayed at the 16 meter range, melt Ryan shield, melt Ryan shield, melt Ryan shield, and pockets you. You break that shield, potentially you could have grabbed. Um, but you, we need your other tank to show up. <clears throat> your other tank is like way behind you. Your, your Roadhog is over here. So I'd say the lesson in that engagement is... You know, as Zarya, we could see, like, we're not going to win that fight even as we walk up to the car because it was, like, three versus two and it's Zarya versus Ryan. Like, in that in that situation, you know, just kind of back off. Like, if they're, they're going to get space on the cart, yes. But it's better that they get space on the cart while you are alive versus you die and then they get space on the cart. Nice barrier. I could see grab. I could see grabbing now. Uh, you have your personal shield, full energy. You'll probably get the transcendence out, honestly, if you did do it. I don't know. Your your team comp is just unfortunate. Don't do it. If you're gonna do it, you have to reload. The reload makes sense. Yeah. See, this is good, right? You realize. All right, I'm not gonna win this. <clears throat> nice shield on the Anna. Yeah, I mean, your team is just getting rolled in the second phase. Yep. 
Finally, you guys get a, a. Why would why would she barrage here? Well, that was silly. I'll give you that one. He was getting actively damaged. Personal shield. All right. Your team has no. Like even for solo queue, even for gold, this is more um, chaotic than I'm used to seeing. Oh, hang on, my phone is ringing for no reason. No point presence. Yeah, there you go. Your main tank, your your other tank, I should say, has switched three times already. They went from Reinhardt to Roadhog to Winston. I guess that's only two switches. Um, so their ultimate is just completely not around. Your Junkrat switched to Genji, so there's no combo there. Your Ana has Nano Boost. Oh, let's talk about this barrier. This is, um... No, I'll give you that one. I'll just leave it alone. There's so many more important things to talk about. Like, your Winston's going in, like, one versus six. Like, your team has been staggered since point one. Like, as much as this is a VOD review to look at Zarya gameplay, it's so hard to review Zarya gameplay when everything else is going wrong in the match. So... <clears throat> You ha you've had some good barriers, for sure. You've you had some good projected, some good personals. Um, I'd say as a player, and this is true for a lot of players, as Zarya, we struggle to know what to do when we are in situations like this. At No matter what like skill level you're at, right? If you're playing Zarya, you know, and you, and you're, you have a plan, you know, walking out of spawn, right? We have Zarya Reinhardt. We've got this DPS combo. We've got these healers. And then that sort of changes without any sort of communication um, to the Zarya. Zarya now has to, like, refine her place in the game. And I'd say the best Zarya players can, you know, readjust to that really quickly. Um, and it's, and obviously, if you don't have that skill, it's harder, which then it becomes more of a struggle. And I think that's what's happening here is, like, even watching this, I have a hard time knowing, like, what's the right thing to do given the situation we are in as Zarya, right? Like, your main tank shouldn't have jumped in there, but he did. So you gave him a barrier, I think. Or, no, he jumped in after he got the barrier, which is actually more awkward. Um, your DPS keeps switching and playing out of line of sight, playing high ground, so it's hard to help them. Um, you know, we as Zarya had a few positioning mistakes that we can control, right? Really trying to contest the point by ourselves. That's never really a good choice as an off tank. Um, what else? We reloaded when we shouldn't have. Um, like right now, like we're in an awkward spot that we are going to be forced into a Graviton that we don't want. I mean, again, another another good shield. You, you honestly have no right getting that kill. Okay, I was about to say. Okay, this is your big chance. You have to wait at this transcendence and grab. <clears throat> also, thank your healers. Your Anna definitely kept you alive there. Reload, reload, reload right now so you have 100 ammo for the grab. Oh, that block though. Oh man, what a good personal and the projected just completely stuffed the earth shatter. Really nice. Yep. Crouch spam, crouch spam. Nice. No! You had to grab, though. You had to, you had to grab. Uh-oh. Now, at this, like I said, right? As Zarya, you're doing as much as you can to be helpful in this fight, right? You are contesting the cart. You're stopping them from winning. You've had a lot of good shields. Um, you're pressuring them. Your Winston, like, if your Winston was on these guys over here, that probably would have been more helpful uh, now. That is unfortunate that he's chasing a 500 HP Reinhardt as Winston, as ulting Winston instead of like the three squishies here. Right, look at all these. Look at all these. So, it's, and again, you were never going to get a, an amazing grab. Like... Yeah, everyone's dead, no follow-up. Yeah, exactly. So don't listen to them. You are you are right. They're like, But at the same time, though, and, you know, to be devil's advocate, when the game is about to end, or the match is, or the round is about to end, you just have to use it. Even if it's the worst grab in existence, everyone will understand that you had to do it, you know? All right, all right, round two. Here we go. I'm, I'm feeling better about the second round. That's a rip. Not, not a great start. 
All right, let's talk about this. So, right here, why you're real, you're too focused on the bubble, and you don't shoot this Reaper at all. Like, why aren't you shooting him right here? Right here, I could understand he's bubbled, but you didn't. You haven't even tried though. And by the time you decide to shoot, he raced away. So I think that was a very slight mistake, just a little bit. This guy's got no wraith form, and you've got personal. You could maybe pressure this. Where did your personal go, actually? Oh, you were trying to get energy from the Hanzo. I see. I missed it. Oh my god, dude. This Reaper is, like, single-handedly holding off four of you. Nice barrier on the McCree. I think, I usually, honestly, usually I would not call that a good barrier. So I'm going to take that back. <coughs> this is not a good barrier on McCree because you don't really know what's around the corner. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's a decent barrier. We'll just go with that. It's a decent barrier. Nice. Here we go. This is, this is where we live. Yep. Uh-oh. Reload. Nice. Ah, Nice, get her. Ah, <laughs> Your shields are good- are pretty good. Your shielding is not your weakness. I'd say it's, um... Hmm. What- at this moment in time, what would I say your weakness is? Another good personal shield, by the way, to get 40 energy coming out of spawn. I think it seems like positioning and it may might be leading in my head right now it's positioning all right hook is down and why would you run winston into double shotgun dude your other tank is struggling all right nice not feeding over energy oh man your team is just playing not in you in front of you Nice, personal, block the hook. All right, right here, beam grenade discipline. Um, you're grenading the Roadhog when he's inside your beam range, so this is inefficient ammo usage. You want to use the beam against him. It, it does way more damage, gives you way more alt charge, and his breather is down, so he is susceptible to dying. And now he's got a Moira pocketing him, so that chance is kind of being diminished, but don't, don't be grenading right here when you should be using beam. Three grenades, three grenades, four grenades versus him instead of so zero beam was just used again another good shield nice nice there you go there we go now we have the beam go on the mercy the mercy nice now look to the roadhog roadhog out of position nice protect protect your backline oh you had wait you had the chance right here oh no that's okay it's, it's a really really tiny opportunity Nice. AD spam, AD spam, AD crouch spam. Nice. Kill this guy. You're gonna. He can't breathe now. He can't use his healer. Nice. Cool. Alright. Yeah, I mean, you're not playing bad. Oh, oh, guys. Why did this Reaper 1v6 alt? Why? Don't be like this Reaper, guys. This is so bad. What a complete waste. I hope he switches off Reaper. Why are they using these ultimates? Nice. <clears throat> so, uh, so right there, your target selection was very good. Um, right, you went on the Reaper when he was forward. Done. You went on the Roadhog when he was forward. Great. You chased the Roadhog when he was vulnerable. Out of position. Nice. Target selection, good. Um, you're... Beam discipline near the end of that fight was definitely better. Um, positioning was good. Your barriers are good. Like that was a much like that was a much better fight from you as Zarya. But at the same time, you know Zarya is a very reliant on a team, and your team started to play moderately well there. And I hate to say that in a VOD review because I I try my best to really focus on you as Zarya as Zarya players, Arisa players, and it doesn't help just to say. Oh, your team sucks. Like, doesn't help you as a player get better. So I'm trying my best to point out what you are doing well in these situations. So that was a much better fight from you as Zarya specifically. Nice. Look, look at, look at this difference right here. This is beautiful. A beautiful example of which Zarya has the better 
personal shield, right? You didn't shield until she fired, and she shielded before you fired, right? So you have the good personal, and she has the bad personal. This is just perfect. What a perfect little, like, gif of, like, good personal shield usage versus bad personal shield usage. Uh, you didn't catch- you didn't jump to catch the first grenade is maybe the teen, teeny tiniest criticism. I think we- I- we all thought it was gonna hit, honestly, it just kinda missed. Um, but you got energy and she didn't. He caught both? No, he didn't. He was at 61. Oh, no, you're correct. I apologize. Someone- you're correct, Traxton. He caught both grenades, excuse me. You got 20 energy and she got zero. Very nice. Oh, again, another bad reload right here. You get the good bubble off. But you're re you started reloading right when Roadhog was right in front of you. I think he's still gonna die. He probably should die. Ooh, okay. Uh, I don't think I would have done this just because the cart is not in a position to really utilize this Graviton. So what I mean is the cart is gonna keep free pushing, right? And in my opinion, you want to invest ultimate resources when you no longer are pushing the cart. So. By killing them here, you will get some uncontested space, but by, but if you had waited till they like contest the cart here and then use ults, you'll get even more space, in my opinion. Now, let's talk about this grab. Before we see the result of it, um, we're chasing, we're chasing, we're chasing. We see the Doomfist. We know Roadhog has no breather ability. We used about 50% of our ammo. I like I even ignoring the whole I wouldn't have used it here just because of where the card is I still would not have used it here just because you don't need the grab here to win this fight you've got decent energy you've got healers you've got Winston Doomfist used one of his escape abilities Roadhog can't heal himself we saw Zarya's projected barrier already being used there is no protection for any of these three enemy characters and there are no healers present so with just you know good you know, beam grenade discipline, or some team follow-up, we could have got these kills no problem and saved the Graviton for a, you know, better fight. Oh, Winston ulted too? Oh no. Good shield, as, again. Like, you see what I mean? Look at how nothing has even stopped the cart, right? If the cart had kept rolling and rolling and rolling, you know, I'm not going to repeat myself, but you guys see what I mean. The cart is not going to get any too much extra distance from that fight versus no a, a fight where they were on the cart. Your Winston needs to chill out, man. Winston's gonna die. Oh. Oh no! Ah, oh, you walked into the car. Rip. So this is what I mean right here, right? I, again, I'm trying so hard not to repeat myself, but like right here, like your if your team was alive, right? Let's say it was six v six. Here is where you would invest the card. So like, look, you were here when you ulted and you got to here, right? So if you had gotten, let's say like here and here, if you had gotten here at this before they contested and then ulted, you'd probably end up a lot closer to point two. Yeah, your team overextended a lot and. And you, you got hooked, right? Obviously getting hooked did not help the situation. I think you got two, one... No, you knew your barrier cooldown. He just caught you unawares. Yeah, your Winston was playing inside a building where you literally could not help him, which was just unfortunate. Yep. Yep. I mean, I don't know where your healers were either. Uh, Shaw, thanks for the follow-up. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Switch to D.Va was Winston. Oh my god, dude. Your D.Va just fed over so much grab charge. <gasps> oh, man. Dude, D.Va is terrible versus Zarya Roadhog. Oh my gosh. If your team had an Arissa, this game would be so easy. I'll give you that shield. What is the red team doing? Okay, they got D.Va out of mech. So good target selection by the enemy Zarya. Baby D.Va's ba out of mech. Genji's dead. Why would you grab plus one and a half here? Just absolutely no reason. Why would you waste your huge combo on nothing? What a waste of ultimates. Oh my god. 
like, like, look at from the Zarya's perspective. Does the Zarya need to grab here to secure these kills? No, she does not. I mean, she has her barriers. She, she's also alting at 48 HP. Like, this is just terrible alt, alt management. Like, it looks pretty, but it's such a waste. Assert dominance. And I want there to be Arissa so bad. All right, now now your solo tank Zarya, your Diva has now switched to Reaper. So this is this is a definite uphill battle, for sure. Such an uphill battle. Nice bubble under your Mercy Protector from the Doomfist. Good personal. I mean, just go back to spawn. Oh man. Don't take this the wrong way. Because it's nothing against you as a player, but this is probably the most gold game I have seen in a long time. <laughs> nice. Oh, <laughs> you're stuck in the. Oh, you actually got away. That was a panic barrier through and through. Yep, you were just like, I'm gonna die, might as well bubble Reaper. Nice target selection and then not overcommitting. Nice. Nice. Another good barrier. Good good grenade usage here versus a bunch of grouped up enemies. How did this dude get behind you? What? Oh, he walked around. Wow. The lol. Good personal. Oh man. You are doing a good job of shutting down this Roadhog in this life. Careful, careful. You do not have personal shield here. Don't don't construe your recent power with invincibility because this Anna will sleep you, you'll get killed by their whole team, and you're gonna be like, Well, there goes my hundred charge. Nice. Uh Okay, so we reloaded before Grav. I think we're only plus one. So, let's see. Let me go back look at the kill feed. Killed the Hanzo. So, and our Reaper died, so right now it's even. Killed the Doomfist. Now we're, we're plus one. I could see grabbing here. You guys have been stuffed pretty hard. And you want to get out of this choke, right? So, you get the advantage. You reload. Your, the main thing missing is you don't have your personal shield, but that's okay. Not every grab is going to be perfect you're not going to have everything you want going into every grab um in terms of when you actually press the button that's probably where i would have a, a tiny criticism let's see you see the anna and she might have been out of range here but you're kind of banking that this will still catch her the main the main good thing was reloading before the grab that was a big uh, boon now focus the right target though right in the graviton you don't want to focus the Roadhog. You don't want to focus the really big tanks. If you catch these other... If it's just the tanks, then sure, of course. But if you catch the Mercy, you catch the Ana, you got to kill them first. Because they will just heal up or res whoever, whichever tanks you kill. So the Grav, good. Reload Discipline, good. Target Selection in the Grav, a bit of a miss. You're, you're like actively shooting the Roadhog instead of the Mercy. You have the combo too. I didn't know you had the combo, and I think you didn't either. But Genji coming in with the Dragon Blade definitely makes this grab a lot cleaner. The Anna is still alive. Oh, she just gave up. Nice. Right, easy cleanup. I want to reiterate for those just tuning in, this is Solo Tank Zarya, so which I don't recommend ever. I would, if I was in your position, I would have switched to Orisa personally. Mm, you bubbled way too early. She was not even looking at you. Mm, did you need that? Did you need that one though? I don't think you needed that one. I think you could have held that one. Body block! Oh! Oh! You saved him! Oh man. 
I'm I'm gonna credit you with saving him. That was really good. Also, right here, right here, you want to grenade melee because it does the most burst damage in close quarters. You still die, so it's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, I'll give you that one because it's the only teammate you can see. Bye, world. Yep. Yep, you dead. So, so uh, again, this is this is a hypothetical. But look how close you are. Oops, that's not. I pressed the wrong button. Look how close you are to the end, right? If you hadn't, I'm. This is gonna sound wrong, but blown your ultimate lo load so early in your first push, and things, and you know, things would have gone differently, and I think you would have made it to point two. Yeah. All right, so your Gravitons weren't bad. I think the timing, it's really just the one. I think the timing needs some work, right? So on your defense, you didn't hold it forever. That's not my criticism. It's not that you held it forever. It's that you didn't even use it when the round was ending. At that point, you just have to use it and just hope for the best. And that's not what you, that's not what you want as a Zarya player, but it's the harsh reality of that situation you were in. Um, let's see, what else? You know, a lot of your gameplay is pretty good. I'd say your reloads, you have some, like, you don't have terrible reload discipline, but when it does happen, when it, when you have a bad reload, it's like a really bad reload. Like, 75 ammo in front of, like, two enemies, one being a tank. Like, that is a situation where you should definitely be dealing damage, getting that ultimate charge, etc. Like, that happened twice, and it only happened twice, so it's not, like, a huge issue. But like I said, when you have those really bad reloads, they are really bad. Um, your shield discipline is pretty good. Uh, I think you have a couple kind of... Uh, a, a few panicky shields that, are you know, kind of had a, a, a range of, like, good panic shield and bad panic shield. The main thing you I want to say there is try your best not to panic use the barrier, but to really be cool, calm, collected with every barrier you use. Now, that is not possible. It's not possible to do that 100% of the time um, for any player. Um, but just, I would say, try and increase that the number of cool comp cool calm collected barriers just a little bit more right when when things are just going to all crap you know just try your best like make, what can i do here to win this crap team fight right if i get a good barrier on a, a genji that's for some reason alting you know three versus five you know he shouldn't have alted but hey if i barrier him then we might win this fight but if you waste that barrier on someone else you can't even you don't even have that chance now i know that's, that's another hypothetical um okay so positioning again we talked about it about you know, it, Zarya is not a, a character that stands alone. She does not she does not really thrive by herself. She needs either pocket healing by a, a lot of it, or she needs to be with a main tank or, you know, some healing and some main tank, right? But she's never really a character that stands alone. So if you're in a situation where your other tank is, like, coming from spawn, your other frontliner is not there, you know, just really think about where should you be if you contest the card like as much as you want to contest the card as a tank will that actually yield results or is that just going to get you killed and i think that's probably the biggest thing watching this game out you know like i said this is probably the most gold game i've seen in a while it's just chaotic all over the place and in order to kind of rise above that you have to be the difference in your own game right you have to be the one making smart personal plays personal choices so you're not a detriment to your team like sometimes your teammates can be at all skill levels um all right positioning target selection was pretty good not much to say there you're consistently you didn't overextend you think you only overextend like once or twice but for the most part you're attacking um you know the target that makes sense to attack so keep that up positioning target selection really discipline ability usage grab usage um i think that covers everything um, so thank you so much, uh, McKitten, for the VOD, man. Good luck in your future games. Yeah, I know this one was rough to play. It was definitely hard to watch. You know, your team kind of just run around with their head with their heads cut off. Your your tank just kept switching. I know that sucks, dude, and I'm sorry. There's nothing. I I can't. I don't have any advice for you there except just try to be the best best player you can be. So again, Kitten. Thank you so much for the VOD review, guys. If you liked the video and you learned something, consider giving the video a like and subscribing on YouTube, where you can catch all of my 
uh, Overwatch guides and VOD reviews. If you want to submit your own VOD for review, there is a link in the description. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. And as always, have a good one.